In this video, we'll take a look at lists and spreadsheets. On the left side of my screen, you see a model of the TI Inspire handheld, and up here is our view screen, which is enlarged over here on the right for us. I'm just going to change our viewing so that the keypad gets a little bit bigger. When we work with lists and spreadsheets, we're going to enter some data that might have been collected in class, and then we're going to be able to use spreadsheet to be able to analyze that data. In this case, the lab we did was Lake Pepperidge Farm, where students had samples of tagged and untagged fish um, represented by Pepperidge Farm pretzel goldfish and cheddar goldfish. They were collecting random samples and collected data. So what we're going to do is open up lists and spreadsheets by clicking through the menu to get to lists and spreadsheets. I'm going to hit the center of my touchpad and open up lists and spreadsheets. You'll see that it looks like an Excel document. We're going to work with two columns here, column A and column B. In column A, we're going to enter data from class of the number of tagged fish that were collected, and in column B, the number of untagged. First thing I want to do is put titles or labels in these columns. So I'm going to get my cursor up to A, and now I'm going to type in tagged. Enter. And now move to column B untagged. And enter. To start putting in values, let's click over to cell A1 and start putting in the number of tagged fish that was collected in class. We'll go with 6, enter, 3, enter, Now in column B, we want to enter the number of untagged fish in our sample. So move the cursor into B1 and start entering data. 34, enter. 31, enter. So now that we've entered our data, we want to look at that relationship or the ratio of tag to untagged. So we're going to work in column C. We're going to put a formula here in this space um, that's a, on the row with the equal sign. So in order to put a formula in that space, just like Excel, we're going to start with an equal sign. Equals A divided by, is over here on the right hand side, B, and then hit enter. And now what that's does, done is calculated the ratio of A to B. So right now these are all in fractions. If I wanted to have them in a decimal form, we're going to do a little change to our settings. So if we go up here to the home screen, click on the home button, and then tab down to settings, hit enter, tab down to document settings, hit enter, you'll see that we can scroll down to calculation mode and instead of auto I want to hit approximate. When I select approximate it will give me decimal. Now if we look back up to the top you'll see my display digits is float six. That will give me six decimal points. If I click to the right I'm going to choose float three which will give us three decimal points hit enter and then tab down and over and select OK. Now where's the document? So we're here in settings, we're going to tab back up to my documents, hit enter and our document is right here in unsaved documents, hit enter. And there we are with our data entered plus calculated represented in a decimal. What you'll notice here is my decimal has three places, but down in this space bar, you'll see the whole value of the number out to all of its decimal places. Now, to calculate the average of this column, we're going to work here in column D. So we're going to move the cursor over there to column D, and we're going to put in a formula. 
the formula that we put in here is going to help us look at the average of what's going on in column C. So we're going to start with a formula. We're going to start with equal sign and then the word sum with an open parentheses over here to the left of C1. We're looking for the sum of C1 to C4. So now, like in Excel, I need to put a colon in here to direct me to go C1 to C4. The colon is found over here in the right in this little button with the question mark. Click on that. It will open up a symbols dialog box for you and select the colon. So now I'm looking at the sum of C1 to C4. I'm going to close the parentheses and then to get my average I'm going to divide that by 4 and hit enter. So now I have the ratio, average ratio of tagged to untagged. So this was just a sample way to work with the formula or the software called List and Spreadsheet to be able to enter some data and then work with it just like an Excel spreadsheet.